Petti signorina, le dirò con due parole, chi son, chi Some water. These three days are long days. Oh my, you get to sing this music. This is the best. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I could feel everything just dried up. <laughs> <laughs> it usually does, you know, and it's like it's you go out into the theater for the first time, it's the dress rehearsal, and you're like, so dry in here. <laughs> What's happening? It was fine yesterday. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is also this is a big aria. <laughs> Have you been singing this for a while? Or um, what's your history with it? Well, this is, uh, I've been practicing it because uh, I'm doing the role of Rodolfo this summer. Yeah. Uh, and I wanted Where to get as much. It? In Vienna. In Vienna. Yeah, and I wanted to get as much coaching as I, as I could with it. And, yeah. um, and it's a work in progress. And, uh, and I mean, the only th coaching that I had was, you know, just teaching it to myself so yeah. far. And so. Yeah. Now we're here. But it's, <laughs> but it's also <laughs> that, that aria that, you know, we all know, yeah. right? And. Mm -hmm. And so it's very easy to start singing it the way that we know it, you know? Tell me what you think about Rodolfo. Ooh. First of all, oh, I want to say too, by the okay. way, I could really see you concentrating on the release of these phrases. I could mm. really mm -hmm. see you like attending to <laughs> that. And it's that, this is the whole process of a singer is we're trying to take on a big new concept. And so we sort of are tiptoeing around it for a little bit. 
which is fine. Mm. A tiptoe mm. as much as you need, but tiptoe in a proactive way. Not backing off, but just concentrate on those releases, but don't hold back mm. to do it. But I really saw you paying attention. <laughs> we'll hit that in a few places. But I want to talk more about Rodolfo. Um, yeah, tell me what you think of him. Oh man, I think Rodolfo is, uh, well in this scene especially, he's very flirtatious. He's, uh, uh, he sees Mimi for the first time and he immediately falls in love. Um, you know, he even says it to himself, you know, prior to this, okay, bella bambina, you know, and oh, we have a, you know, there's a lady in the house now. <clears throat> and so I think that he really loves Mimi. And you can see that, you know, towards the whole opera, especially in act three, that he would do anything for her, even leave her, mm -hmm. you know? And so <clears throat> I think he's, you know, very, uh, he has that swag to him in this scene. You know, he's very, uh, you know, very flirtatious, very, uh, I don't know what the word is, very clever in the way, you know, he talks to her to, you know, in order to attract her and seduce her, you yeah. know, to stay. Um, but I think, you know, towards the end of the opera, he really does fall in love with her completely. <clears throat> that the first, like, this might be one of the most famous opening lines ever, right? Que gelida manina, right? Are you expecting it to be cold? Mm, well, it's, it's been cold since the beginning. No, yeah. but I mean, you see her and she's beautiful ah. and she's and she's the most radiant, she's coughing a little bit, but the most <laughs> radiant person you've ever seen. <laughs> and she's beautiful and frail. And do you expect her hand to be cold or not? No, not really. Yeah. You she, see, she looks warm to me, you know, she's yeah. beautiful, you know. She's had a candle, so yeah. the candlelight, right? Let's play it that you don't expect it. <gasps> Gelida manina. Mm. Choose, don't go. Que gelida manina, I've listened to <laughs> this aria. <laughs> Pavarotti's my favorite, <laughs> but I like Domingo too, <laughs> you know? I can do that. <laughs> also, I'd like to say, <coughs> Domingo's my favorite, Pavarotti's okay too. I mean, it's all, you know, it's all good. Um, you know, don't assume that her hand is cold. <gasps> what have you been doing? Come in. Come mm -hmm. in. Wow, your hand is so cold. I would love it if you could make this aria all about her. Even when you're talking about herself, mm. about yourself. Mm. <clears throat> and not because you're trying to impress her, but you've never had this electric shock before. Oh my God, your hand is so cold. Come sit down. What do I, I, I'm a writer. Do you like writers? Yeah, I, I write something for you. Yeah, and I also, I, I don't know, it's so cold in here. I built a fire. Can you, uh, you want to sit by the fire? Are you cold? You want a fire? You're so pretty. Wow, how? What else? Oh, I don't know. I, I just kind of live my life and I have a really good, did you like to live your life? Yeah, yeah, tell, what? Yeah, you're so pretty. Wow. Instead of, Cercare, cercare. <laughs> yeah. mm. oh. Can we have a chair? <clears throat> no! Anne, you never get to play Mimi or Soprano. Play Mimi. <laughs> You'll have plenty of chances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you want to skip ahead to act four? <laughs> you want to do the death scene? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't ever look at me. Anywhere but. Okay. Get her to look at you. Tell her how much you love her. Okay. And if you're, uh, sorry, but if you're tired and what all that, I don't care about the vocalizing and okay. stuff. You mark and do whatever you want, but this is all about the okay. words. <laughs> no, dude, wait, I'm sorry. Like, when do you ever do that? <laughs> Unless you're there already. But you want oh to my walk? God. <laughs> So pretty. You're 18, 16, 20. What are you? Yeah, it's young. 22? 22. 
You're young. Don't be all this formal. Go down. Oh my God, you're the prettiest thing I've ever okay. seen. I'm sorry. You're so pretty. Wow. Wow. Sit, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, it's not. Okay, <laughs> You Don't be in that world. Be in the. My heart pounding. Uh, what can I get for you? To, uh, um, so, why is your hand so cold? More alive. Okay. You know more of this. Okay? Okay. Okay, so this is just a pet peeve of mine, uh, is opera romantic gesture that never ever happens in real life. <laughs> this is one of them, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is the other one. <laughs> right, you know, okay? okay. How, I mean, uh, it, it's, oh my God. Wow, your hand is so cold. Are, are you warm, are you okay? You know, much more natural. Okay. Just feel the hand. And, and if you go, would you do this? Your hand is so cold. <laughs> or, your hand is so cold, <laughs> right? You're gonna go, oh my God, your hand, your hand is so cold. What's, what's happened? Hmm. Are you, oh, sorry. Uh, um, okay. But no, can I check again? Yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, so just, okay. no opera. This is just, she has a cold hand, and she's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I think you love her. So we're in this, also you're in this slow motion opera stuff too, right? Mm -hmm. No, just a reminder one more time, 22, three years doing this, right? <laughs> so another pet peeve is the slow motion, oh, the night is so <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> I love it, <laughs> right? You like this gesture, <laughs> yeah. It's you're young, call. you're young, mm -hmm. show us your youth, right? So it's all, you, you kind of went, Oh, very sort of slow motion, you know. Maybe instead of stalking her, like that, you know, you could be like, hey, you want something to drink? I, um, I just, you're so pretty. Oh, you know, something a little bit more natural. Okay. I'm not a tenor, so I don't know how that mm. goes. Okay. Um, and then, you know, oh, sorry, maybe I went too far. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful night out. Have you seen the moon? Yeah, it's so, it's, do you like it? It's, and always checking in, you know, did she, did she, oh, is she okay? You, you like that? Does she like me? Mm -hmm. uh, what else? I, I could show you something else. Much more natural. You know what I mean? Okay. It's just hard because the music is also like really sort of yes. really slow. But you're not. Yeah. The okay. music I think is slow is because you don't know how to talk to her yet. Mm. You know what I mean? It's because how do you, in all your opening scenes, right? You're very so. If that followed, if your musical language stayed true here for you, you'd be like, Mimi, you're so beautiful. Have you seen the moon? It's beautiful. Do you want to go for a drink? I'm a poet. I write stuff, which is what you do later, right? Yeah. You go into that. So this is a very different musical language for you, and I think it's determined by her presence. But it doesn't mean your physical body is. And I'm not saying go against the music entirely. Mm -hmm. Just don't go into that slow motion thing, mm -hmm. you okay. know? Because you can be here and then say, oh, I'm sorry, maybe I too much. <gasps> wow, la luna, da, 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 da. You see it? You don't have to do this 
grand thing. Just see it and show her. You see, it's so pretty. Yeah, and are, are you okay? You know, so youthful movements and excitement and all of that. Just see if you can, just play. Okay. Just play. This isn't so much about the singing. You want to take your jacket off? Sure. It's hot. <laughs> question. Why'd you leave her? I don't know. <laughs> you see how close you were and she wasn't pushing you away. Yeah. Why okay. would you leave that? I don't know. Yeah. It's sort of like an instinct. Because there's a high note coming. Oh. Yeah. And because also, <laughs> and also because we want to move on all the phrases and we think we have to fill all the musical phrases with movement. Mm. I loved how you went down there and sat there. Now watch the difference, okay? La luna iberia da da ya da da di ya da da di da. Oh, there we are. Okay. La luna iberia di da eva da ya da di. God, you're so pretty. Wow. Oh, okay. And you know, to 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 take the cues off of her, okay. if she's not telling you to get away, I don't think you would, mm, yeah. unless it's really the flirtatious kind of thing, you know, you want to purposefully go, oh, okay, hard to get kind of thing. Okay. So trust the stillness and trust the text, trust the music to just say the stuff to her. But all up until then, I loved it. Okay. It was a little bit more youthful, mm -hmm. a little bit more uh, real, connected to her. You want to try it one more time? Sure. Just like, you know, I live and stuff, and yeah, I, I kind of write and I like, have a good time. Go ahead, <laughs> yeah. write where you can. Um, Kisson. <laughs> Kisson. <laughs> Son poeta. Che cosa faccio? Scrivo. E come vivo. Does she like it? Vivo. Uh, I don't know, she's still not looking at me. <laughs> She's so pretty. In povertà mia lieta, sciallo da gran signore, rimedini d'amore per sogni e per chimere, e per castelli d'aria. Ruban tutti gioia, 
Did you feel the connection at the end? Yeah. Did you mm -hmm. feel how sincere that became? Do you see how it's kind of almost not possible to be sincere when you disconnect and you go into this mm. and, and that? And it's, this is you. This is you. Ah, oh, and your sound and your world has nothing to do with her. You know? Mm. Actually, watch the way Domingo keeps eye contact with his mm. partners. Watch how he connects, you know? Watch how he makes everything he's singing about somebody else. Because this isn't about you. This is about getting her to see you, seeing if, if she might like you, and trying to see if she's gonna give you the ground to tell, you that she, that, that, to tell her that you love her. So it has to stay on her. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And so this kind of work is interesting. You're going to be doing the role for the first time. I just beg you to not be a stock Rodolfo. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because it's not interesting. We've seen it a hundred billion times. You know? And it's not being composed in the minute. It's not uh, fresh. It's a timeless story. It's a timeless love story, and it's, we love it. But, and I'm not saying you have to be modern and sit on the floor. Of course you use your hands, you're Italian, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's <laughs> French, Italian, whatever. <laughs> but, but just be, have, go and really work on this body awareness so that your hands aren't just coming out of your pockets but of their own accord. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> and I was like, oh, sorry, that's what that one does. I'll just, ah, you, do, you love this. You love that, I mean, I right? Know, I was just used to it. If you turn it around, it's a baritone. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know? A tenor claw, a claw. So, th but this is also, I just want to remind everybody that you're, there's a lot of technical stuff we've talked about. This is a big aria. You're getting ready to prepare the role. There's a lot of stuff that you've been processing, and now we're throwing all at this. This is just part of taking what you can, process what you can. The big thing to think about as you prepare this role is to go inside of it and don't take one note for granted of that's how it goes. Not of any of the duets, not of Che Jelly Da Manina, la 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 la, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. <gasps> que Jelly Da Manina. What, what, are you going to tell me your name? You're so pretty. I mean, just here with her. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then yeah. he becomes three-dimensional, fully fleshed out. I really think it has nothing to do with a modern production, a, uh, um, a traditional production. Things can function in a lot of ways. We have to tell the story, and the story isn't that. That's when we get into the stereotype of opera singers, okay? It's great singing, but singing that is improvised, singing that is alive, singing that is deeply inseparable from the words, deeply inseparable from the harmonies, 
from the texture of the orchestra, from the response of our colleagues. You know, if she had looked at you from the beginning, you would sing it very differently, you know? Yeah. Mm. You're a, you're a baby in all of this, so you know you're going to have to take one step forward, two steps back, three to the side, and mm -hmm. as you start to coordinate all of this, you already, as I said yesterday, have so much at your disposal: natural voice, natural instincts, natural musicality, all that. The um, these other elements, as you put them in and digest them, are going to make you into a really exciting theatrical, vocal, full artist. But it's Especially as you start out, challenge yourself not to go into tenorland. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because did you fear the audience when you made eyes with her at the end and you connected and you just sang to her? There was this feeling in the room where everybody went, oh. that's what kills us. Not that. <laughs> that, that. That means nothing to us, even if the sound is good. So that's the direction for you to start really driving home. Even Romeo yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. We were working very technically. But all it is is Juliet, Juliet. It's none of this. It's not that. It's not I feel in my voice. And I, it's what light through yonder window breaks. I love you. I love you. I love you. That's all that is. And when you stay in that zone, after you've done all the technical work, it becomes that, that, that um, ma it becomes the magical place that we all seek in opera. You have too important a talent to become a, a stock <laughs> tenor. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so you're gonna have to be disciplined in, in the way you work that way and be open to a lot of dramatic ideas, which you can put into work. Like I said, now, I don't care. Mark, if you want, let's work on the dramatics. Tomorrow, go back and work just on the vocals. Don't think about any of this. Mm. The next day, come back and just recite the words. Get Pull in a, a colleague and just say the text to her. Say the text, say the text, act it out, improvise it. Do it in Spanish, do it in English. Mm -hmm. Just that, then here. Que gelida manina. Lada, and cold technical work. This is how you prepare the role. Pure vocal work, so it gets solid, 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 solid. Total radical free theatrical work. And then you're gonna start to put those together. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are moments where the body has to take priority in a staging, and you either need to stand or something like that, but you can stand and be grounded, and you can be with her, and you don't have to be here. So do what you need physically, of course, because it's your instrument, but never lose that connection with her and what you are singing about. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's that separation of just working on the actual drama or the actual story narrative of the, of the aria and then the, just the vocal yeah. side of it. The reason for that yeah. is so we can get the audience to go, hmm, oh. Rodolfo loves Mimi. <laughs> Not, oh, that was a good aria. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we love that too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and of course, that's one of the elements. But that's the moment everybody's waiting for. And if it's not sincere, we see it a mile away. And we go, oh, yeah, he had a good voice. But that's not top level stardom, mm. that's not top level artist. And that's what you need to be aiming for. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You've been great. Thank you. It's been great. Yeah.